guys. Today I'm going to be talking about a 7 day Royal Caribbean cruise I just got back from to Greece and Croatia. Traveling on the amazing Explorer of the Seas ship, we visited Split and Dubrovnik in Croatia and Santorini and Athens in Greece. We also got two sea days to relax and take advantage of all the ship's amenities and entertainment. In this video, I will be covering the amenities, entertainment, food, and logistics of the ship, as well as a brief overview of all our ports of call. So let's dive right in. Of course, the first thing we did after boarding the ship was explore everything. Our cabin was located on the 12th floor, which was the same deck as the pool and spa. My boyfriend and I stayed in the spacious panoramic ocean view cabin. The room was very spacious and comfortable, and even better, the view was beautiful. My family stayed in the ocean view panoramic suite, which was also on the 12th floor. The room had spectacular panoramic views of the front of the ship and could sleep up to six people. With this room, we also got some special perks like the concierge lounge, the bridge tour, and priority boarding and disembarking the ship. This was really helpful when traveling with a group of five people and getting to grab a quick bite to eat in the concierge lounge. In terms of amenities, there was the spa, gym, floor rider syrup, water slides, rock climbing wall, table tennis, mini golf, basketball court, ice rink, and you know what? You name it. The spa had a sauna and a steam room and options for massages, acupuncture, and beauty services. My mom got her hair blow dried for one of the formal nights and I got my nails done. They did a great job, but it was definitely a bit pricey. We played a competitive game of mini golf, many games of table tennis, and my brother and boyfriend played basketball and soccer games on the court. We also tried the floor rider surf multiple times, the water slides, and we tried rock climbing on our last sea day. Overall, the Explorer of the Seas ship has tons of amenities and activities to keep you entertained no matter what your interests are. Royal Caribbean does a great job entertaining their guests with all kinds of shows all listed on their app. My family and I went to six different shows while on our trip. There was a bicyclist, a comedic magician, acrobatic dancers, opera singers, a dancing and singing crew choreographed by Dancing with the Stars, and a figure skating show. They were all incredibly entertaining and impressive 45 minute productions. Coming from a past figure skater, so maybe a little bit biased, I have to say the figure skating show was by far the most impressive. So what were we eating during this week? I'll just say there were tons of options. There are five different restaurants to choose from, the food court, the dining room, and late night dining. Since the dining room and the food court were already included, we basically ate there most days and nights. We did get burgers and milkshakes though from Johnny Rockets and those were pretty good. We went to the dining room for dinner almost every evening. They have a different menu for every night with around four to six options of appetizers, entrees, and desserts. The service was great and we also enjoyed sitting down for a nice dinner every night. On the days we were going to port early, we ordered continental room service the night before to be delivered at our desired time in the morning. This was very convenient for days where we had to disembark the ship very early, like 8 a.m. to catch a tour. Now let's get into some logistics. Imagine 4,300 people needing to disembark and embark the ship every day. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Not really. Royal Caribbean has a great representation for a reason. Everything was very organized and seamless. We were a bit nervous for Santorini because you have to disembark the ship with tender boats because the cruise is too large to dock, but all went very smoothly. Every time you disembark the ship, they scan your royal card with your name and photo, and they do the same thing when you board the ship again, as well as an extra security check. So you do feel very safe and secure while you're on the ship. Time to talk about the amazing places we visited. 
Our first destination was Split Croatia from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Split lies on the Adriatic coast in central Dalmatia and is known for the ruins of the Palace of Diocletian built in 295 to 305 AD. We did a two-hour private tuk-tuk tour and a tour of the Diocletian Palace. We definitely learned a lot more with the castle tour, but the tuk-tuk tour was still a cool way to see the town. Next, we went down the Adriatic Sea to the picturesque town of Santorini, Greece from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you stay in Fira, where the ship drops you off, you will most likely be overwhelmed with tourists. If possible, I highly recommend booking a tour like we did to Ia to visit some hidden sites you would not see otherwise. This tour also included a wine tasting with appetizers at this very nice wine estate which was a 10 out of 10 experience. Then we checked out the urban and historical city of Athens, Greece from 8am to 8pm. Since we had a long day here as well, we booked two tours. One walking around Plaka and other local areas and an Acropolis tour to see the Parthenon, which was built in the 15 year period between 447 to 432 BC. Acropolis tours are only done in the morning or after 5 p.m. to avoid the heat. It's definitely worth going to the Acropolis if you haven't been, but it's probably better to book the earlier tour so you have time to get back on the ship by 8 p.m. Our last destination was Dubrovnik, Croatia from 6.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Although our shortest destination, Dubrovnik was my favorite place. We booked a panoramic drive and a sightseeing walk from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. This was the perfect way to see the town in our limited time. From walking down the beautiful streets and panoramic views from mountaintops, it definitely left me wanting to see more. Overall, our experience on the Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas ship to Greece and Croatia was absolutely amazing. It's a great way to see a bunch of new places you haven't seen before in a fun and easy way. From the fabulous service and smiling face of each staff member to the delicious food and entertainment, this was an experience to remember. Well, I covered everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to leave the links down below with all the tours we booked. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.